Okay, so welcome to the Hydra tutorial. I got somebody asking to do this specific song, and I just saw Covet Live over in uh, uh, the, the Vera Project show in Seattle. So I figured that I should probably do a song, because it's been like a year since Nautilus was, was on my channel. So I figured I should probably do that. But anyway, here's the, uh, the tutorial. So the tune for this one is uh, from high string to the low string is uh, E, B, F sharp, D, A, D, and then uh, if you have a seventh string guitar, uh, the next one would be A. Um, but basically, what I'm doing instead of playing uh, stuff on the seventh string, which I don't have, I'm just playing it on the fifth string instead because they're the same note. It's just that the fifth string is an octave higher than what the seventh string would be, so it still works pretty well. It just sounds slightly bit different, but if you have a 7th string, that 7th one is A. And, uh, yeah. So for the first part, you play the ninth on the 1st string, and uh, open 6th string. And then you play the 10th on the 2nd. Pull that off to ninth, And then you tap, with the left hand, the 10th uh, the on the 3rd. And then you tap with your left hand the 11th on the 4th, and your right hand taps the 12th frets on the 6th and the 5th strings. And then your right hand, ta uh, not taps, slides up to the 14th. If I could tap them all. There we go. This is a little difficult to tap all three of these right next to each other with two different hands. Um, I don't know if I have fat fingers or something weird, but it works well when you actually do get them all together. Then you tap the 10th on the 3rd string, and then you play the 10th on the 2nd string, and the tabs, uh, which should be here somewhere, or maybe down here, I don't know where I'm going to put them, uh, if they're in parentheses, uh, that's like the alternate note for what the 7th string is playing. Uh, and that's mainly just for anybody who's playing this on a 6th string instead of a 7th string. So this tap will actually work for both. But if you don't have the 7th uh, string, like I do, or I don't, um, you play the 10th on the 2nd and the 9th on the 5th. <coughs> then you play the 9th on the 2nd, hammer on to the 10th, pull off to the 9th again, and then you play the first string open. Then your right hand taps the 12th on the first string, slides up to the 14th, and then this part's kind of weird. Uh, your left hand taps the 12th on the second string, and at the same time your right hand taps the 14th on the fourth string. Sorry, the 14th on the fifth string. And then your left hand slides up to the 14th, and your right hand slides down to the 12th. So they kind of switch frets on their respective strings. Feels weird, but you get used to it eventually, like most things in guitar. So I'll go ahead and play that chunk slowly for you guys, real quick. Then from there, you play the 6th string open, then you play the 7th on the 2nd string, then the 9th on the 1st, then you play open 6th string again, and then you play the open 6th and the 7th uh, on the 1st string at the same time. Then you slide that 1st string up to the 9th, then your right hand taps the 12th frets on the 1st and 2nd strings, then slides up to 14th. So that part is... Then you play the 5th fret on the 1st string, and the 4th fret on the 6th string. Then you play the 4th on the 1st string, and hammer on to 5th, pull back off to 4th. And then your left hand taps the fifth on the second string. 
then you tap the fifth fret on the third string with the left hand, and then slide that up to the seventh. Then your right hand taps the ninth on the fifth, and then your right hand taps the tenth on the third. So that small chunk is. Then you play the sixth string open. Then you play the seventh, second on the second string. Hammer on to the third. Then you play the fifth on the first string. Then you play the third on the second again, and then pull off the second. Then you play the third fret on the third string, slide that up to the fifth. Then you play the fourth on the sixth string, and the seventh on the third. Then you play the fifth on the second string, slide that up to seventh. Then you play the fifth on the first string, hammer on to the seventh, then slide up to the ninth. Then your right hand taps the twelfth frets on the first and second strings, then slides up to fourteen. So that chunk slowly is like this. So for this next part, you only play the 6th string uh, at the same time as the 1st string. So whenever there, I mention the 1st string, you play the 6th string as well. The bass note, basically. Just to make things a little bit easier. Uh, so you start off with the ninth fret on the 1st string, and open 6 for a little bit. And then you play the 10th on the 2nd, then the 9th on the 1st again along with the open 6, then the 10th on the 2nd again, then 12th on the 1st string, 10th on the 2nd twice this time, 12th on the 1st again, and then now you're doing open 2nd string, and you're also doing 9th on the 6th string. So ninth on the sixth string here and tenth on the first. Then open second again. Then tenth no. Yeah, tenth on the first again. Open second again. And then ninth on the first string again. Uh open second twice. And then Ninth on the first string again, and then open second again. <clears throat> this is probably really confusing, slow down, so I'll play it a few times, uh, kind of increasing the speed so you can understand the, uh, the timing of this, but the tabs should help quite a bit too. So after that part, then you basically just repeat it. Um, I don't think anything is different about it. Yep, everything is exactly the same. So I'll go ahead and play this entire part slowly for you. Um, I'll just do it once because this section is kind of long to repeat, but I'll do it at half speed, roughly. So for the second part, you start off with uh, the ninth fret on the 5th string, or ninth fret on the 7th string if you have that. And then you play the ninth fret on the 2nd string, 
and open third. And then you hammer on to the tenth fret on the second string. Then you play an open first string. Then your right hand taps the sorry, the twelfth on the fifth string. And then left hand taps the ninth on the fourth. Yeah, fourth string. I can count. And then uh, right hand taps the twelfth on the first string. So that's. And then this is another kind of weird tappy bit. Uh, right hand taps the twelfth on the second, and left hand taps the tenth on the third at the same time. Then her right hand slides up to 14th, and her left hand slides down to the 7th. So. And it's weird because you're like almost pulling apart. And uh, also, this one's going up two frets, this is going down three. Another weird feeling part, but again, you get used to it. Then from here, you play the 7th on the first string and 7th on the 5th, or 7th on the 7th string, if you have that again. Then your left hand taps the 9th, or sorry, the 7th on the 2nd string. Slides up to the 9th. Then your right hand taps the 14th on the 4th string. So I'll go ahead and play that chunk real quick. Then from here, I broke off the sections at this part because uh, that first section of this part um, gets repeated. And from here on, it uh, it's different than the next repeat, if that makes sense. You'll see what I'm talking about later. But anyway, uh, for this next chunk, you play the open 6th string and 7th uh, on the 3rd string. Then you pull off to 5th. Then your left hand taps the 7th on the 4th string and slides up to 9th. So for this next part, I actually neglected to do this in the, the cover that I did, because uh, I counted strings wrong. It's really weird tabbing a 7th string guitar on a 6th string while still uh, thinking about 7th string and translating stuff. That's my excuse, basically. But, um, so I was thinking that this was uh, the 5th fret, or 5th string for some reason, so I'm like, oh, that's already being used, so I can't make an alternate note. But this is a fourth string, actually. So, um, anyway, you play the, uh, the eleventh on the fourth string. And, uh, the, the note for the seventh string guitar on the seventh string would be the ninth. But in instead you play the ninth on the fifth string. And I'll update the tabs if they're already up by the time I make this video. Uh, to where I actually reflect that you can play the ninth on the fifth string. So you play those two, um, and then from there you play the third on the third string, or sorry, open third string, and a uh, second open string, or open string second, open second string. <laughs> then from here you tap the ninth on the second string with your left hand. And your right hand taps the 14th on the 5th and 4th uh, strings. Then your left hand slides up 1 fret to the 10th. And your right hand slides up 2 frets to the 16th. Then after that, you play the 7th fret on the 1st string. And the 7th fret on the 5th. Or 7th fret on the 7th string, if you have that. Then you play the 7th on the 2nd, then open 1st string, then you play the 9th 
on the first string, along with the seventh on the fifth, or seventh on the seventh. Then open second. And then twelfth fret first string. And then from there, that's when the repeat kicks in. But I'll play this check uh, this section slowly real quick. So for this next part, uh, you're basically just repeating the first check, uh, first section. I don't know why I keep on saying section, um, section of part two, up until that last half. The uh, Right there is when some stuff starts to change. Um, you play the 5th fret on the 3rd string and open 6. Then you pull the 3rd string off to 3rd fret. Hammer back onto the 5th fifth, fifth fret. Then slide up to 7th. So. Then you play the 5th on the 2nd string. Then 7th on the 1st. So that's... Then you play the 9th frets on the 2nd string, and the 5th string, or the 7th if you have that. Then open 1st. Right hand taps the 12th on the 5th string. Then taps the... Uh, Third string, twelfth fret. Then your, uh, your left hand taps the ninth on the first string and second string. Then slides up to the twelfth fret. Then your right hand taps the fourteenth fret on the first string. Then you play the seventh frets on the first and the fifth string. Or 7th uh, string, if you have that. Then 7th on the 2nd. And then open 3rd. Then you play the 9th on the 1st string, and the 7th on the 5th, or open, or 7th on the 7th string. Then open 2nd. So. So I'll go ahead and play that repeat of this part slowly, real quick. So after you've done that repeat of this, then you play everything over again. So you do the one that starts the weird different part as... do that and then you do the one that does and then you do those two over again and then that takes you into part three I'll play those two different repeats uh, together real quick for you so you can kind of see how they merge together So I almost forgot to mention for part two, um, when you're doing the last repeat, uh, there's a little part where you're actually just going to stop for a brief second. Um, I'll go ahead and play it for you real quick. there you just give it like two three beats maybe i'm not sure how long exactly 
but then you uh, you don't drop any notes. You just stop, and then you get back into the. And then you just continue like normal. You could hear what I mean by listening to the song, which should be linked in the description. And uh, yeah, so part three is uh, fairly easy compared to most other things in this song, at least. Um, what you do is you play the fifth on the uh, the first string and the fifth on the fifth string, or the seventh string, if you have that. Uh, play them at the same time. Then you play the fifth on the second string. Slide that up to the seventh. Pull that off to open. Then your left hand taps the seventh on the third string. And then your right hand taps the twelfth on the third string. And then it taps the twelfth on the second. So. And then you do the same thing, except instead of tapping the second string twelfth uh, fret, you tap the twelfth string on the first fret, or twelfth fret on the first string. So. And then you repeat that. Then from there you play the the fourth frets on the sixth string and the first string. Pull the first string off to open. And then you play the fifth fret open and the fifth sorry, fifth string open and the fifth fret on the third string. Then you slide the third string down to the third. And then pull that off to open. And then your right hand taps the 12th frets on the 1st and 2nd strings, and then slides that up to 14. And then you repeat that 3 times for a total of 4 playthroughs of it, so... Except right here, things change a little bit. Um, Instead of just pulling off to open on the third string, you... I'm pretty sure she does this. It looks like she's doing this in the video. Uh, Yvette Young, that is. Um, but it's kind of hard to tell, sort of. Um, it almost looks like she touches the string uh, before she taps it while she's pulling off, which is making me think that she's almost playing a natural harmonic, but with plucking her left hand and holding it with her right. So, as she's pulling off the third uh, third string from the third fret, she's touching the twelfth fret to make that harmonic. Which I've never seen before, and it's really awesome that she's actually doing this, because it's, it's weird, and it's awesome. So, uh, just like that. I don't know what that's called, um, I guess reverse harmonics, I don't know if there's an actual name for it or if she calls it anything, but it's weird and it's cool and it takes getting used to, like most things in this song, but uh, after you do that, then you, uh, you quickly tap that 12th fret again on the third, uh, third string, and then you tap the first on the, sorry, the 12th on the first string. So. And while you're tapping those two, almost forgot, you uh, you tap the second string, or second, second fret on the fifth string, and then you slide that up to the fourth as you're tapping the 12th on the first string. So that's... And then from there you repeat it, the the full thing. So I'll go ahead and play all that slowly. Um, I won't do the repeat this time because it's kind of a long thing. Um, but I'll go ahead and do that.
So after you've repeated that part, then it takes you into part four, which is playing the sixth string open, then the second fret on the second string, hammer on to the third, then slide up to the fifth. Then you play the fourth on the first string, then you play the fifth fret on the second string, and open third, and open six. Then you slide up to the seventh, pull that off to open, and then you tap the seventh frets on the second and the third strings. And then you slide down uh, to the fifth fret with just the second string, I think. Might be both. Again, sometimes the video is a little hard to tell what she's doing exactly. Anyway, from there, you tap the 12th fret on the first string with the right hand, and then your left hand taps the 12th fret on the on the second string, and then slides down to the, the, the 10th. Then you play open 6th string and the 9th fret, and open 2nd string, and you hammer on to the 10th. Then your right hand taps the 14th on the 4th, yeah the 4th fret, or 14th on the 4th string, and then 14th on the 2nd. So. I'll go ahead and play that chunk slowly, real quick. Then from there you play the 7th frets on the 1st string, and the 5th string, or the 7th string if you have that. Then you play the 7th on the 2nd string, and slide that up to the 9th. Then you play the 7th on the 1st string again. Then you play open 6th and the 9th on the 2nd sec uh, string again. Then you slide that up to the 10th this time. Then you play the ninth on the first string. Then you play the tenth on the second string again. And then you play the twelfth fret on the first string. And the uh, open six again. Then ninth on the second string. Twelfth again on the first string. And then ninth on the second again. And then you play the 10th on the 1st string, along with the open 6. And then open, uh, sorry, not open, 9th on the 2nd string again. And then the 9th on the 1st string. Then 9th on the 2nd string again. Sorry, no, open 2nd string. Tabs will help for this part again. Um, these parts where she's playing the same string over and over again and swapping between two, they're a little bit hard to explain. That's why I have tabs showing up, because I'm not too good at explaining things, even though I'm doing a YouTube channel about it. But anyway, I'll play that solely for you so you could make more sense of it. Then from here you play the ninth on the fifth string or the 7th string, if you have that. Then the ninth on the 2nd. Slide that up to the 10th. Then I think she plays the 4th string open, but it kind of feels and sounds a bit better to play the 6th uh, string open. Although it, it looks like she's playing the... I uh, don't oh know, it's weird. It sounds like she's playing the 6th string, but it looks like she's playing the 4th open in the video. And I don't know how that works. I think physics might be breaking at some point, but I'm going with the fourth string open. And uh, ninth on the first. And then slide up to the twelfth. Then you tap sixteenth on the fourth. Then from there you tap with the left hand the twelfth on the second. And slide up to 14th. 
then you play sixth string open and uh, seventeenth on the first string, then sixteenth on the first, seventeenth on the second, and you pull that off to fourteenth, and then you tap the sixteenth on the fourth fret or sixteenth on the fourth string. Then you slide that down to the 14th. Then your right hand taps the 17th on the 2nd and the 3rd strings. And slides up to 19th. So go ahead and play that chunk slowly too. Then from there you play the 9th on the 1st string and ninth on the fifth, or the seventh string if you have that. Then you play the ninth on the second, and slide that up to tenth. Then your right hand taps the uh, fourteenth on the fifth and fourth strings, and slides up to uh, the sixteenth. Then your left hand taps the seventh on the second string. Then your right hand taps the twelfth on the second string. Then your left hand, or you just play the uh, the fifth on the first string and the fifth on the fifth string, or the seventh if you have that. Then you play the fifth on the second string, and slide that up to the seventh. Pull that off to open. Then your left hand taps the third on the third string. Then your right hand taps the ninth on the fifth string, and then the tenth on the third. And then from there, you go back to playing the last, uh, the last part, the... Except you repeat it for twice as long this time. Uh, but I'll go ahead and play this part slowly for you. So from there, like I said, you repeat part three, was it? Yeah, part three, uh, except you do it twice as long this time. And then you play part four after that. Uh, it, it's exact same as the thing that I just taught you, except for the very end. Pretty much the only difference is when you tap the third on the third string, and then you tap with the right hand the ninth and the tenth. Or ninth on the fifth and tenth on the third. And tapping that last, uh, the the tenth on the third. The left hand also taps the second on the fourth. And then you slide your right hand up to the twelfth and your left hand up to the fourth. So go ahead and play just just that last chunk of this one slowly, so you can see what I mean. So this next part is pretty tricky and difficult, mainly because it's kind of hard to tell if you've actually played everything uh, completely right, because um, she's going super fast at this part, which is pretty fun. Um, you play the 6th string open, then the 5th string open, then the 4th string, 3rd string, and then you tap, or sorry, hammer on to the 3rd on the 3rd string, then you play the 2nd string open, then the 1st string. And then you hammer on to the second fret of the first string. Then you slide up to the fifth. Then your right hand taps the twelfth on the first string. Then the twelfth on the third. Then your left hand taps the tenth on the second. Then your right hand taps the twelfth on the second. And then slides up to fourteenth. And all of this happens incredibly fast, but I'll go ahead and do this slowly, because it's a lot of notes in a short amount of time. Then 
from there, you play the seventh fret on the six, uh, second string and the sixth string open. Then, I don't know if you want to shorten this note, it kind of sounds like she might, but then you play the seventh again on the sec uh, second string. Then the fifth string, uh, fifth fret of the first string. Then the seventh on the second string again. Then the seventh on the first. So. Then open six. And then there's a little bit of a pause here, but you play the uh, the twelfth fret uh, natural harmonic, and then you play the twelfth fret on the second string, and then you slide down to the tenth. So go ahead and play that whole chunk slowly. Then from here you play the 9th on the 5th string, or on the 7th string. Then you play the 9th on the 2nd string. Then you slide up to the 10th. And then you play natural harmonic on the 12th fret. Of the 1st string, sorry. And uh, 12th fret on the 2nd string. You just play that normally. And then you slide up to the 14th. Then you play the 16th on the 1st, so. Then you play the open 1st string and open 6. Hammer on to the 2nd string on the 1st. Pull off to open. And then you play 5th fret on the 1st string and open 6. Then you pull off to 4th fret on the 1st string. And then you pull off to open. Then you play open 2nd string, hammer on to the 2nd, then you play open 1st, then you play 3rd on the 3rd string, and slide up to the 5th. And all of this also happens really quick too, uh, I'll go ahead and play it at varying speeds so you can get the gist of it. There you play 4th on the 6th string, and 7th on the 3rd, then open 2nd, then 7th on the 3rd again, and then open 1st. And then you do that again after giving it about a beat of time in between. Then you hammer on to the 2nd of the 1st, and pull off to open. So. Then you play 2nd fret on the 2nd string, and 2nd fret on the 5th, or the 7th if you have that. Then the 1st string. Then the 2nd string, 2nd fret again. Then you play the 2nd on the 1st, and 2nd on the 5th, or the 7th. Then 2nd on the 2nd string. I'm saying 2nd a lot. Anyway, um, 2nd string, 2nd fret. Then you play the 4th on the first string. So that's then you play fifth fret on the second string and fifth fret on the fifth string or the seventh if you have it. Then for uh first string fifth fret. Then you play uh, fifth fret second string. Then the seventh on the first, then natural harmonic on the seventh of the second string, and then natural harmonic on the twelfth of the first. So that's. And that's where the repeat for this part actually kicks in. Um, 
every other repeat is different. Um, so, first you do the one that I just showed you, the... First you do that, then the second time you come around, uh, you play... Then from there, you just don't play anything. You don't do the natural 12th, 12th on the second, and then slide down. You just don't do that at all. Um, instead, you just wait a little bit, and then when it kicks in again, you just play the 9th on the 5th, 9th on the 2nd, and then slide up to 10th, and so on. You'll see tabs here, too. Um, and then on the second repeat, or I guess the, the third time you're playing through it, you actually have those parts again, and then the fourth time you don't. So basically you're switching between having the and not having that part. Again, you could listen to this song, and everything that I said might make sense. Hopefully it would. Um, like I said, I'm bad at explaining things like this sometimes, but uh, you, you'll definitely be able to tell what I mean by listening to the, the song, which should be linked in the description and all that. So I'll go ahead and play this real quick. Uh, I'll only do the first playthrough and then the repeat of it with the, uh, the missing chunk so you can kind of hear what it sounds like. And yeah. Another weird thing with the repeats here, when you're doing the very last one, uh, and you get to the part where you're playing, um, the way I look at it, uh, this whole section essentially cuts off after playing, because the next section, you're just repeating, and I'll go ahead and explain that in a moment. So for part 8, you're playing 5th uh, fret on the 2nd string, and 5th fret on the 5th, or 7th string, if you have that. Then you play the 5th on 2nd, then the 5th, sorry, 5th on the 1st, and then you play the 5th on the 2nd, then 7th on the 1st string, 5th on 2nd again, and then 5th on the 1st string. They're basically just uh, switching between the second and first strings. And uh, you're doing fifth, seventh, fifth, fifth, seventh, fifth, fifth, seventh, fifth, fifth, seventh, fifth, fifth on the, uh, the first string. And uh, also every, I guess, measure, beat, whatever you would call it, um, you're playing that fifth on the fifth string or the seventh string. So I'll go ahead and play that slowly for you real quick so you can actually understand what I mean by all of this. Hopefully it's a little bit better explained. That's also how many times you play through the whole thing. That's essentially all part A right there. And then that takes you into part 9. So for part 9, you play 12th fret on the 1st string and open 6th, then 14th on the 1st string, then 12th on the 2nd, 14th on the 2nd, then you play the 14th on the... yeah, the 3rd, sorry, sometimes my tabs are off a little bit and I need to fix them, and I was like, hey, that's not right. Um, 14th on the 3rd, and then you slide to the 15th on the third, uh, third string. And then 14th on the fourth string. And then 16th on the fourth. So. And then you do 
the same thing, sort of. Um, four, uh, 12th first string, 14th first string, second second string, or 12th second string, 14th second string, and then you just stop at the 12th on the third. So. And that's where the repeat starts to kick in. And you repeat this eight times, I believe. Yes, eight times. So go ahead and I'll do how about four repeats slowly. So normally you would repeat that twice as long as I just did, and then that takes you into part 10. And part 10 is playing 6th string open, and 10th on the 3rd string. Then you hammer on to the 12th, pull back off to 10th, then you play the 10th on the 2nd string, open 1st. Then the 10th on the 2nd again, then the 9th, then open 1st again, then the 10th on the 3rd string, open 1st, then open 2nd, and then open 1st. So. Then you play 6th string open, and 3rd fret on the 3rd string. Then open 2nd, and then open 1st. Then 6th uh, string open, and 5th fret on the 3rd. Then uh, uh, open 2nd, open 1st. Then 6th... no, not the 6th string open. Uh, just the 7th... Uh, yeah, 7th string... 3rd fret, and then open 2nd. So. And then you repeat that, except this time, or I guess every other time you repeat this, the cutoff is playing the 5th uh, string on 3rd and the 6th open, and then the 2nd. Those are the last two notes you play. Then you repeat it with uh, the full thing, and then back to cutoff being right there. I'll go ahead and do this a couple times uh, slowly for you guys real quick. That one is another one that you would repeat twice as long as what I just did for you guys. And then it takes you into part 11. And part 11 is, uh, it's fairly simple. Um, you're just playing open 6 and the 7th on the 3rd. Then 2nd open. 1st open. And you do that exact same thing, um, looks like 8 times, so. then you do the same thing except you add 7th fret on the 2nd string and then you plug the same strings over and over again. This time we do it 6 times before you move those two 7th uh, strings down to the 5th strings or 7th frets down to the 5th frets on the 3rd and 2nd strings and you do that twice. So that measure is a uh, Then you do the same thing, except now you're holding the 10th frets on the 3rd and 2nd strings, 
Play that eight times. And then you do the same thing, except now you're holding 10th on the third and 12th on the second. And you're also doing natural harmonic on the first string, on the 12th fret. On this one, you're also slowing the, uh, the beats per minute down by quite a bit, so. And then for the final part, it's basically just a, a small chunk of part two, I believe is which one it was. What you do is you play the ninth on the fifth string, uh, or, uh, or on the seventh string, if you have that. And you play the ninth on the second string and open third. Then you hammer on to the tenth. Then open first. This should probably sound a little familiar to you if you've gone through the whole tutorial. Then your right hand taps the 12th on the 5th, no, 4th string, no, 5th string, sorry. And then your left hand taps the 9th on the 4th string, then your right hand taps the 12th on the 1st string, then your left hand taps the 10th on the 3rd, your right hand taps the 12th on the 2nd. Then your right hand slides up to 14th, and your left hand slab slides down to the 7th. Then you play the 7th frets on the 1st string and the 5th string, or the 7th if you have that. Then you play the 7th on the 2nd string, slide up to 9th. Right hand taps the 14th on the 4th. If you haven't noticed, I'm explaining this fairly quickly because, again, this is mainly just part two. So. Then you play open six and uh, fifth fret on the third. Open, uh, or uh, pull off to the third fret. Hammer on to the fifth. Slide up to the seventh. Then you play the fifth on the second. Then you play the seventh on the first. Then you play the ninth on the second and ninth on the fifth, or the seventh if you have that. Then you play the tenth, or play the first string open. Right hand taps the twelfth on the fifth and the third strings. Then your left hand taps the ninth on the second and first strings, size up to the twelfth. Then your right hand taps the fourteenth on the first. And right here is where things finally, finally changed. I guess I could have just started explaining here, but you play a sixth string open and the fourth on the first string, then fifth on the second, open third, then you play a fifth on the first string and open six again, fifth on the second. Open third, and then you just play a couple of natural harmonics on the twelfth frets of the second and the third strings. So, now I'll go ahead and play this whole outro solely for you. So that's the end of uh, Hydra by Covet. Um, if you have anything that you want me to do that's like math rock, uh, post rock, pretty much anything that's uh, kind of underground and doesn't have tabs for that I might be into, go ahead and leave a uh, comment in the description or leave a comment in the comment section. Um, I'll have tabs and a link to my cover and the actual song in the description or they'll be popping up somewhere around here maybe next to my face i'm not sure where i put them anymore um and uh like 
subscribe, do all that good stuff, and uh, thanks for watching.